So that's what I really love about that song. So where have you performed as of um, anything lately? Or like I what performed have you done? at Annabelle Music Hall. I performed at Rosewood in Manhattan. I performed at, uh, man, I can't even remember the names right now. I just did a performance two days ago at um, my homegirl Mickey's uh, launch party. She launched out a clothing line. I got okay. on her shirt right now. Okay. Uh, it's called Clutch Currency. Uh, she had a launch party and it, it was it was really dope. Um, I perform, my boy J.O. perform, my boy Fisher O.E. perform, my boy K.B. perform. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was it was really something special. And it was good because, like, I always like to rock with people that have an ambition for something. You know what I'm saying? Like, and all my peoples, we really are, like, really aiming for something higher than what's going on right now. So we trying to start things from the bottom, but it's not just, like, we trying to do music. Like, we trying to do music, we trying to make clothes, we trying to shoot videos, we trying to do photo shoots, we trying to do everything that we can possibly do to reach out to people, you know what I'm saying, to make people rock with us. And it's really something special and I really enjoyed our event. And yeah, it was, if you missed it, That's you cool. missed it. Like, it was definitely loud, you Well, know you're definitely saying? in the right place. Fashion, you know, in New York, yeah. there's a lot of, I actually went to FIT. Oh, where? A lot of people don't know that, but yes. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's what's up. Now that, I'm just going around this. But anyway, yeah, so, Back to what we were talking about, Will, before we went on break, the, the Chris Brown, Trey Songz thing. You're actually right. I told you. But I don't know why I thought... Trey Songz came out before Chris Brown? That's crazy. Trey Songz, well, it's just like a year. I don't know that. Oh, uh, remember, 2004, remember. he came out, and Chris Brown came out in 2005. Remember, Just Gotta Make It wasn't getting yeah, the buzz. I remember it, that. It song. wasn't until um, he did it with Arthur Fra Franklin. Oh, okay. Ar Arthur Franklin jumped on it, then Wycliffe... I guess I don't know. Um, touch on you know you know how he does. Always want to be part yeah. of something. Yeah. So I'm telling you, man, your music. Yeah, because I, I remember when Trey Songz still had the braids. The braids, yeah. But I that was his song. That was my song, man. Chris Brown. Remember, remember the video? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, man. I like the way he put that together too. It was yes. definitely dope. Because like, at the end, he like. It was like him and his girl was struggling, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And at the end, like, he got that record deal called, like, yo, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So he got it, and then he was good. I stand corrected, because I could have sworn those, but they were, yeah, it's just a year apart. Definitely. It's a year apart. They came out a year apart, but yeah. it's all good. Anyway, so, um, what I was going to ask you, you, um, do you have, like, a team? Because you said that you do the music. I, yeah. I mean, I actually... I, def like, I definitely so. have a team, but it's like, we're a team, but it's like, we're branched, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's doing their own thing, and we're, everybody's supporting everybody. Like I said, my homegirl, Vicky, has um, Clutch Currency going on, and I got her shirt on, I got her wristband right, on, and all that kind of stuff, so I'm, I'm gonna support know, her. We won't talk about you to bring you on, but that's all right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah. bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's up? Yo, Mick, yeah, you heard that. We need, we need extra shirts. We need shirts at Yak Radio. Extra small. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. What do you mean extra worry. small? For you. Oh, for her? What are you trying to say? Yeah, I ain't extra small. Okay. Small? Let me, let me show. Okay, tight. we'll talk about my. Glove tight, like no, you know, a female when you wear something. No, we don't need yeah, to have it. They gotta be tight. super tight, super no. tight blue shirts. No, well, some girls do. Oh, no. Some girls. Like, the girls. A little bit okay. tight. You know, I like I like to breathe. Um, so medium is fine. Medium. <laughs> She's listening too, so I know. Okay, shout out to you. Medium. 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 Yes, medium. In between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Medium. So, 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 you know, she could look, you know, when she stand up. Oh, no. No, you know, girls with, um, should I even say this? Girls with booties, they like to wear the extra small shirts because they like to protrude out a little. But I have other assets, so we, you know, won't get into that. But, yes. A, 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 a medium <laughs> or medium, it's fine. <laughs> Either way, like I'm kind of in between. Word, word, word. Okay. Anyway, so um, do you do like the mixtapes? Do you? Yeah, do that I, I, I do. I dropped a mixtape uh, a couple months ago. It's called Road to Success. It's on datpiff.com. It's oh, also wait, on wait, um, Road to Success. Road what? to. You said on what? It's that? on datpiff. That pit? That pit. D A T P I F F. Oh, okay, I never heard of it. You never heard of it? That's where. Wow. This is where all the underground artists, yeah. all the come in artists drop their mixtapes. And DJs, oh, underground DJs, DJs yeah. that put, put mixtapes together. Hmm. It's also on SoundCloud too, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So you can, you can search. You heard of SoundCloud, right? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> uh, of course I heard of SoundCloud. <laughs> but 
<laughs> no, but you know, light and lively is very busy, so sometimes, you know, I can't be into everything, everywhere, all the time, but, you know, like I said, I just kind of came across you on, on IG, yeah. so, um, and, and I'll just put this out there also for artists who, um, you know, may want a shot to come on the show, you can always email me, the email is in the mix, um, dot yak radio gmail dot com. That's I N D A M I X dot yak radio at gmail dot com. Because sometimes people reach out to me mm -hmm. and send me like messages, like asking me for advice and you know what that's I think though. of their music, which yes. is that's that's flattering. Somebody sent me a track the other day, and it was a a very nice song, it's like uplifting mm -hmm. women song, but. I think they're like in South Africa. They're like way across the country. So but we see that's still good though. You got people in other countries listening to you. You know what I'm saying? Definitely true because, like I said, yeah, radio. Come here, yeah, I mean they're not gonna be able to travel here, but you, you know. never know. You gotta, you gotta network with them. There is a way. There is a will. True. Exactly. Maybe they can call in. So may, maybe I'll make yeah, that happen phone because I actually yeah. like I did like the song. But if you're listening, you um, did a song. Huh? You did a song? No, I said I like the song. Oh, I just freestyle too. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we, yo, we freestyle. Nah, you freestyle? But no, 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 I don't. <laughs> oh, but if you freestyle, we can do a freestyle I mean, I, I, right I, quick. I'm not a great freestyle rapper. Right? I, I know what I do a little something, something. So I we'll definitely do a little something. We're gonna drop an instrumental. Let's listen. Are you about to put me on the song? Let's see. I'll put you on the spot. Well, before I put you on the spot, <laughs> before I put you on the spot, <laughs> um, you did say that you you like to freestyle. Yeah. Um, what's the name of the show? Yeah. Um, for everybody that's listening, um. My birth, like I said, my birthday is July 30th. What time so, is that? I'm a Leo. Leo. Okay. Yeah, King of the Jungle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, my birthday is July 30th, but on July 31st, Friday, um, at Area 516 in Hempstead, I'm having a um a underground artist showcase. So I'm hosting it. And what I did is I used to go to a lot of showcases all out through New York, and it was like so many things that I didn't like. You know what I'm saying? Like. They want two hundred and fifty dollars for you to sign up, or you end up going dead last. There's so many people that signed up, so you gotta oh, wait. And then by the time you perform, everybody leaves. It's just it was just so many things that pissed me off. So then I was I was chilling one day, and I was just like, you know what? Why don't I just throw my own showcase? You know what I mean? Like me and my boy AB, um, AB the villain. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy. Uh, I hit him up because I did a showcase for him, and I brought like a good 30, 40 people out. And I hit him up, and I was like, uh, Yo, what do you think about? me doing my own showcase, so us working on a showcase together, he was like, that sounds like a great idea, so we got flyers going around, we got advertising on my Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram, it's a double -L, l w e y z the number one and two letter O's, um, so yeah, and July 31st, about at midnight, we're going to have something at Area 516, it's going to be an underground artist showcase, I got um, a decent amount of acts, it's going to really be fun, we're going to have a cash prize. Uh, I have a trophy made for the winner, and um, you're also gonna trophies. get a clutch currency you shirt. You know what I'm saying? Courtesy of Mickey. You feel me? So we're gonna do that, and then the runner-up. I actually own a studio myself. Um, I always want the studio, so I'm gonna give the runner-up free studio time. You know what I'm saying? So okay, well it's really, that's helpful. Yeah, it's it's really dope. I, I mean, I'm I want to get signed, and I want to do my music, but at the same time, I want to help others too. You know what I'm saying? I want, like I said, I want to do this through all aspects that I can, mm -hmm. like. Not just be a rapper, but I really want to just help people as well. Like if I can help you, I'll help you. So yeah. that's why I'm doing the showcase. So everybody come through and show me some love, show show the artists some love. We just gonna do the showcase, and then after that, we're gonna turn up because it's still gonna be my birthday. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Is, is there a cover or two? Uh, yeah. Um, ladies, I think it's five dollars before twelve thirty, and the gentleman is fifteen. So that's not me. That's just but you, you, you made know what I'm saying. You said something that you want to have artists too, right? Uh, Besides I mean, yourself being an artist, you want to sign other artists. Yeah, I was, yeah. I, I know. Um, quick question: Some some artists they don't they like to be in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. They don't like the artists to overshadow their own success. So mm -hmm. how, how would you deal with that if I mean, one of your artists jumped like you know on a higher level? Then how would you then what I'm doing? I mean, me, I'm a humble person, bro. Like I'm not selfish or self-centered or anything like that. And I would feel that like. If I'm rocking with you, that we should, that you should be humble enough, and I should be humble enough that if you get to that position, it's not like I'm gonna be like, yo, bro, I heard you got signed. What's up? What's up? What's up? Can you put me on? Can you put me on? But you should know that, alright, cool. Like this person helped me through my time of need, or helped me do whatever I need to do. So if the smallest thing I could do is plug them in with somebody, or at least 
you put their name out there a little bit or whatever the case might be because it's all about networking like even me being right here right now is, is networking you you're networking me like People don't understand it. when you want to be an artist, you can't be self-centered and just think about yourself. Yeah, definitely. Like you gotta work with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta, if if somebody's gonna do a photo shoot for you, you gotta do that photo shoot with them. Post it on your page, and then tell other people like, hey, you want to do a photo shoot or you want to get pictures taken? Holler at the guy that just did my photo shoot for me. And a lot right. of artists don't do that. They don't give recognition to the people that did the work for them. At the end of the day, a lot of people they just want recognition. They call yeah. them ditties. And I, I call those ditties. Like they. Uh, but you hear now in the videos. news, not to like be talking about what's going on with Lil Wayne. Oh yeah, and the that's whole crazy. Thing. Exactly. And it's like they started off, you know, everybody family, family, and now mm -hmm. they're beef. And they're wilding on each other right now. Like they, I heard like, that I heard that Birdman seen unfair. Wayne somewhere and threw a drink at him or whatever. And it's, it's like, like it's like it's like yeah. crazy, yo. Like but they were speed. talking about it. It's getting so big. They were talking about it on the news, and mm -hmm. they were saying that. You know, even like said, like people, somebody might get killed over this. Like, they need to yeah, show like it's getting shot violent. And everything. It's getting it's violent. Slowly. Actually, they discovered there is a plot for it. Uh, allegedly. I'm not allegedly, saying yeah, but there was a just, plot for them to kill Lil Wayne, but he yeah. wasn't on the tour bus. And that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's really not that serious. Um, Obviously, it is. To, to, it is I no, mean, I mean, it, it can't be that serious. Like, I don't want to see another. You know, Biggie situation. Yeah. Um, Tupac situation. Well, another news. I don't want to see because it's like nobody deserves to die. It's, nothing can ever be that serious. Right? Yeah. There's enough in this world to go around for everybody. Yeah. And you know you don't gotta kill nobody else to get like what you think is owed to you. Yo, know, the beef is just—it's ridiculous. Like mm -hmm. you started something together. If it didn't work out, just separate. Just separate yeah. and mind your business. You go your way. I go mine. Everybody lives. Exactly. You know what I'm talking now. The thing is that. There's a lot amount of money that he owes Lil Wayne. Exactly. There's a lot of money that he's not trying to pay him. Over two, on top yeah, of that, he was supposed to drop an album, and he didn't drop it because Birdman is holding it because it's his last album uh, with his contract. You know what I'm well, saying? I understand that, but there's always lawyers, and you, you got all this money. Should, be uh, smart about see, it. Yes, we are. That's how you're thinking of it. They're not no, thinking they're not this. thinking like. Actually, Lil Wayne wants to get lawyers involved. It's just very. You need to get lawyers involved because somebody is gonna get hurt. If it's somebody needs to, they. You know, they need to just bring it back in. It's not mm -hmm. that simple. I mean, everybody can get their money at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Because if the contract was under, you know, cash money, he's still going to get a cut. If the record exactly. stops, you still won't get money from it. But so. I, it's not working, obviously, because the old little win. But it's about to be on for like two years. But I heard that Tiger's going through the same thing, though. Mm -hmm. they going pro like, Tiger was supposed to drop an album, and then hold it. Drop it. So, he dropped it already? Yeah, he only sold like so, two, okay, two thousand. So now we're talking about this, stuff. and back to you. <laughs> we're going to go back to yeah, you. Yeah, seriously. Um, VA, whatever. You know, <laughs> it's like situations like this, when you see these things happening, mm -hmm. like you you seem like a very humble person. Like you say, you grew up in church, your father's a pastor. Mm -hmm. You know, so I know you have morals and, yeah. you know, you have some sense. Yeah. So are you ever worried about, like, people on your team and things? I don't know. I don't okay. Know. I don't know. I surround myself with people that are positive. We never argue. We never get into anything. Like you said, it's, it's, it's enough for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I'm speaking of right now. Like, who knows? Like, something might happen down the line or whatever. But, like, the people that I surround myself with is people that I know will never let money get in between us. Because we had situations where money was involved. And it's never been a problem. You know what I'm saying? So a couple of extra O's, I would pray and hope that that would never break any friendship that I have with any of my friends, you know what I mean? Okay, so it's important to have contracts. Anyway, I'm just gonna move on from this. But, <laughs> Will, I wanna play um, the What If song. He has a song, and I really was listening to the song, and I'm like, you know, made me think. Word. You know, like what if, there's a lot of things that I could ask myself, like what if I went this way, what if I went that way? Mm -hmm. So I wanna play that song for the people. Good, introduce. And, and, um, next track. All right, this right here is a uh, song is called What If. It was produced by my homeboy DJ C Rich. If you listening, bro, shout outs to you. Um, basically, like I, um, like Miss Light and Lovely said. Uh, they must have changed my name. Oh, how, how do you say it? Light, light and lively. Light and lively and lovely. <laughs> my bad. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Basically, like she said, it's a song that basically is telling people like, what if you didn't do this? What if you didn't do that? Because all of us have regrets in our life, you know what I'm saying? So it's like one of those songs I was going through a lot of things and uh, double guessing my life and whatnot. So I made this song to kind of vent. Like that's all my music really is. It's like when I'm going through something or it's a situation that I have at the time, I usually just put it on a beat and it kind of helps me out. So that's okay. where this song came from. Okay. 
All right. You got it.